Hello, Kitty Queens and Kitty Beauties. How y'all doing today? I'm about to get ready to go to work, like always, because I don't ever go nowhere else. But I did my hair off camera. As you can see, this is the same hair that's been in all my other videos. This is the hair that Sumba Hair sent to me. I just decided to do a middle part today in the wet look. I got like two hours just because I want to look on fleek. By the end of this video, I want to be snatched. It's been a long time since I talked to y'all. I'm really not going to be talking to y'all in this video, though, just because I'm watching TV. So, yeah, we're about to get started. So, I started this video off by moisturizing my face. First, I'm going to take a few dots of this CVS moisturizer. And then, I'm going to take two drops of my Mary Louise Cosmetics Facial Oil. And I'm just going to rub them both in. take this bandana off y'all it's been on here for a minute what the fuck this is not this is not what they look like before i put that bandana on Okay, so basically, y'all, I had decided to take my bandana off because it had been sitting on my edges for a minute. And when I took it off, my baby hairs didn't look anything how they looked before I put it on. So right here, I'm just taking this edge brush and I'm trying to fix whatever happened underneath that bandana. And then I had these two clips that I was going to put in my head anyway. So I was just going ahead and seeing how they looked. And I'm just going to take my styling mousse and slick down the top of my hair. And then I'm just going to put the clips on it. As y'all can see, I was struggling. Struggling. But I'm going to take this bristle brush and I'm just going to slick down the top. So this actually came out to be a little hair tutorial, I guess you could say. Ugh. I did have to use a decent amount of mousse just because this hair is very, very thick. So, it wasn't the easiest to lay down. But once I had it, I had it, girl. I only had to go back in with it about two times. But as y'all can see, she's slick and she's laid, okay? Once I have it slick to my locking, I'm just going to put the clip behind my ear. And I kept having to adjust these as well. But as you're going to see in the video, I got it. And the end result was cute. So, be patient. By the way, I did purchase these clips from the Beauty Supply Store. They came in a pack of two, and I think it was about $1.99. So, yeah, I got them and a few more. So, y'all will be seeing them featured on my channel just because they are so cute. But finally, I got it how I want it. Now, I'm just going to do the other side, and I'm putting a lot of mousse on it as well. And I'm just going to slick it down using the same process that I used for the first side that we did but y'all this side this side was getting on my nerves to be honest with you the baby hairs the top the clip everything i had to go over this side way more times than i had to go on the other side like and i had to go over it so much that i had to edit some pieces out of this video or else y'all would have saw me working on this side for like 20 minutes So I put some mousse on the end of this hair because it was looking real. I'm going to do what I want to do-ish and I didn't like that. So I was just laying down the frizz and I know my baby hair still look a little rough. But trust me, by the end of this video, they're going to look better. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're about to get into it. Finally. I'm going to clean up my eyebrows because they look... So, I'm cleaning up these big, bushy, log eyebrows with this eyebrow razor. Yeah, I'll be getting on my eyebrows. They're not really even that bad. But I took some off the top and off the tail of my eyebrows because that's where it was just really, really bad. And they grow back in so quick. Like, it seemed like I just cleaned them up last week. 
but I'm going to clean them up and then after I have them clean I'm going to take a cotton ball and wipe off all that razored hair So now I'm filling in my eyebrows using my Nika K eyebrow pencil in the color black. I'm just going to brush them out first. And y'all are going to see how much easier it is to fill in your eyebrows after you've had them arched. It takes no time whatsoever. This look good, y'all. We don't even have to clean this up. But we're going to... After my other eyebrows finish, I'm going to clean them up using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. I only use one shade today for the top and the bottom, and I'm just using a flat synthetic brush to do so. When the bottom is all aligned to perfection, you're going to go ahead and do the top. And I'm using that same brush and just slowly going down the tail end of my eyebrow then working my way to the front. And look how easy that was, y'all. Eyebrows are complete. Mission complete is done, okay? After it's cleaned up, just take your buffing brush and blend out that excess concealer. And then repeat your process. But as you can see, my eyebrow looks good, okay? It never looked better, it looks so good. For an eyeshadow base, I went in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this one is in the shade Warm Tan. And the palette we're using today is my Stacey Marie XL palette. I'm going to take that deep navy blue shade and pack it on the outer edge of my eye. First, I pack it on, and then I swirl around the edges just to blend them out. This is my favorite palette, y'all. It seems like every color in it is pigmented. I haven't ran across one shade that wasn't pigmented yet, but... As you can see, this is the shape I'm going for. And after this, I'm going to take this vibrant green color and I'm packing it on using a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just packing it all around the edges of where we laid the first color. So first I pack and then I just lightly swirl, as you can see. Now I'm just going back in with that darker blue shade just because I feel like we lost a little bit of it to the green and we want all our shades to show, baby. Okay, so I'm just going back in with it. This is a no-cut crease look, so you don't have to lay down any more concealer if you don't want to. I didn't, but now I'm taking this light, light, light blue shade and I'm just packing it on the inner corner of my eye using this packing brush that I always use for all my eyeshadows. Then I'm going in with this light green and this dark green. First I'm patting the light green right behind that shade and once I have it to my liking I'm going to go in with the darker green behind it. After the darker green is laid down, I'm going to blend out the edges of my eyeshadow using that dark blue shade. Okay girl, I'm going to line my eyes. 
I'm lining my eyes using my e.l.f. black liquid liner and I'm just doing an angled eye across my eye. You want to start thin and then you go higher up towards the end and I'm just going to fill in the shape that I came up with first and then after it's all filled in I'm going to take the black shade out of the Stacey Marie palette. Sorry I forgot to show it on camera but I took the black shade and just blend out the edge of my line. Do you see that? Do y'all see that? I don't think y'all see that, but it's okay, because y'all are about to see that. Now let's pick out what lashes. Y'all, I have a big box of lashes. Like, all my lashes are in this box. And the whole box is filled up. Yes, we're doing those. The lashes that I'm going in with look like this. Crazy. But they're going to be cute. So, as y'all saw, I placed the lash on my eye first to see if I want to use it or not. And then if I'm satisfied with it, that's what I use. That's usually how I pick out my lashes. And I found some gum. So, I'm probably going to get on y'all nerves because you know I love gum, so I was just chewing. Perfect. Ooh, big blinks make you big think. Ooh, big blinks make you big think. Ooh. And for anybody who's wondering, I get all my eyelashes off Amazon or AliExpress. Those are the only two sites that I like to shop on for lashes. What colors and vibe is this giving you Some with type these of lashes? Seed related. Seed? Seed. Like some type of water related. Oh. Wrong. I feel like I look like a peacock. Yeah, okay. See, I was... <laughs> they gonna hear me say that. Mm -hmm. My eyes are finished. Now I'm just dotting on my foundation. Y'all know I do not like to use a lot of foundation. So... I picked up this new e.l.f. camo concealer. This is the hydrating one. The shade name will be down below. And y'all, I love this. Y'all know I love the matte one for like an eyeshadow base, but I don't like to use the matte one on the face. This right here is perfect for the face. Like y'all, I used this on a client before I used it on me just because she was darker, just like me. Like she was my skin tone. And on her, it was full coverage. So I was just like, let me use it. And y'all, I love it. This is my favorite face concealer now i'm thinking about going and buying the whole shade collection just because girl and you can build it up and a little goes a long way i went in with a little bit first and then built up as i went but as y'all can see i did not have to go in with that much and i'm just blending it out using my real technique sponge and now I'm setting it using my Fit Me Press Powder. This is in the shade Mocha. I'm going over everywhere we highlight it. Now I'm just setting the perimeters of my face using my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony and I'm just taking it on the powder brush. For my under eyes, I just went in with the first two colors that we used in our eyeshadow which was that navy blue and that vibrant green. Y'all are gonna see how pigmented this green is, like girl. It almost covered up the blue. I was just like, oh, hold on. But after I finished my under eyes, I just felt like something was missing. And I didn't want to add a crystal like I normally do because I felt like if I keep doing the same thing, I'm going to be predictable. So I decided to do bottom lashes. 
Unfortunately, I did have to do them off camera just because I was pressed for time. And I tried to do them on camera, but I was just messing up. So I may do a separate video with how I put on bottom lashes. So as y'all can see, they're on. And right now I'm just lining my lips using my Wet n Wild Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. And we're doing a nude today. I'm going to fill it in with my favorite nude. Y'all should already know it's from Absolute New York and it's in the shade Terracotta. And I should have just left it matte because it was real cute matte. But I want to go for a gloss. Y'all know I love my gloss. This gloss does not have a name or a label on it. <laughs> I think I bought it from the beauty supply store. It comes in like this glittery champagne type of color. But y'all can go on top of it with clear gloss. But after I went in with the gloss, I just sprayed my face with setting spray. And I lost my bougie girl fan. So hopefully by the next tutorial, it comes up. Because, girl, I had to fan my face using my hand. And that is the most ghetto thing I've ever done. Like, I, mm -mm, no, no, I don't like that. I like my fan. My fan hit me with so much air. My hands was barely doing anything. So, this is the finished look. I'm about to go get dressed and show y'all the outro. So, as y'all can see, we are very much snatched. Eyeshadow in place. Baby hair is in place. Everything is in place. And I wanted to show y'all my shirt. I was going to match this shirt, but then I realized I use more green than blue. It's like... A butterfly imprint and then it has fur at the top it's so cute but as y'all can see this is the finished look if you hear noise in my background please excuse it I tell people I'm doing a voiceover but I guess nobody cares this is the end of this video I hope you all enjoyed please like comment share rate and subscribe and stay tuned for my next one bye bye